I'm here with head men's basketball coach Blake Mellinger. Coach, just to recap the weekend, we went to Coker this weekend. I fell in both of those games. You're able to force overtime in Saturday's afternoon matchup, but just fell short there at the end. What are your takeaways from those two games this past weekend? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I thought we were really rusty and really out of, out of sync uh, the first night. Um, I think a lot of that had to do with the fact we hadn't played in 33 days. But at the same time, I also feel like we could have uh, could have performed better in quite a few areas. I thought we played a lot better the second night, particularly in the second half or second half defense. Um, I feel like that's really the first half of defense that we've had all year long where um, we guarded with uh, with the intensity level and kind of the edge that we need to on the defensive end of the floor. And I think that's the reason we gave ourselves a chance, even gave ourselves a chance to win the game. Um, we just, uh, we got to be better in the last five minutes though. So. And we've talked about improving on defense um, in the past, but to kind of switch to the offensive side of the ball where you've had a good amount of success this season, ranked third in the league in scoring fourth and three point percentage and very successful at the free throw line. Briggs, Paris and Caleb Carter, perfect at the line so far through this season, ranking first in the league um, as a team in, in free throw percentage. So just speak about kind of the offensive effort for the team. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of guys that can score the ball. Uh, we're pretty versatile offensively. And, you know, I th we really uh, we really got four or five solid weapons from the perimeter on the floor at all times. So I think that allows us to space the floor and create driving lanes. And then obviously, um, you know, Cam, Cam kind of does his thing and he kind of leads the charge in that. But I think we've got good pieces around Cam that allows us to be, be pretty potent offensively. And then we saw a little bit of a change to the starting lineup. Freshman Isaiah McCamus um, entered there as well. Bradley Dean got his first minutes, scored some points and had some rebounds. And also uh, another freshman in Ryan Johnson had a season high nine points, knocked down some big shots there in that second game at Coker. So just kind of speak about how these freshmen have kind of stepped into uh, their role on the team. Yeah, they're really doing great. You know, it's January the 12th now and we're five games in. And sometimes I forget that we're only five games in. You know, normally this time of the year you've played 14 or 15 games. But no, those guys are coming along really nicely. Like Bradley, obviously he's a little – a little behind the other two just because he ju just joined us over the break. But uh, he's done a really good job also in picking things up quickly. He's a smart kid, high basketball IQ. And, you know, the one thing about those guys, you know, Isaiah and Bradley and, you know, really all of our freshmen, they're, they're, they're really competitive. And so, you know, some of the things they're kind of lacking in terms of just, you know, really experience more than anything, they kind of make up for in just um, the level of, level of competitive that they, they play with on the floor. So I think that makes a big difference. And we enter into tomorrow's matchup against a 3-1 Lenore Ryan squad who is coming off of a win against uh, the second ranked team in the nation in LMU. Um, so just looking at this team and what you know about them so far this season, what do you think are the keys to success in, in coming out with a win in tomorrow's game? Yeah, I mean, you got you got to slow them down offensively. They, they're one of the... Uh, better offensive teams in the league. They can really score the ball and they've got multiple guys that can that can score it from different positions on the floor. So I think it starts with that. And then, you know, I feel like we match up really well with them. We're very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, offensively, we do some similar type stuff. So I don't think we're, we're going to run into a bunch of different things that we haven't seen before, but at the same time, we've, we've got to, um, we got to slow them down on, on the offensive end for sure to give ourselves a chance. The Bears and the Cavaliers will play Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. inside the David J. Pryor Convocation Center. Coach, thanks so much, and good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Elise.